Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is once a week go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page, and I decide if I'm going to be any, any, blah, blah, blah. And I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything is a total washout. Before we jump into this week's new products, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series every Wednesday, and if you haven't and you would like to, I hope you consider subscribing, hitting the little bell icon to so be notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. I'm like still half asleep, it is early, but let's jump right in. First, I want to talk about the new Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. They're finally doing some color. Finally. I'm particularly drawn towards... The blue and the green one. I'm really debating getting one of those. If either one, I'd probably lean more towards the green since I do have some of these blue shades in like singles. But like even in the green palette, they don't really have a whole lot of like true greens. I see like a Kelly green matte up in there. I see like a bottle green. That's a really pretty one. I see like an army green. So I really, I would have to see this in person, honestly. I actually see the shades in person. But if any of these, I would be most interested in getting the green one. I can't remember if I talked about this last week or not. I don't think I did. This is the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. I think it's great that they're finally coming out with a new palette in this packaging, and it's about time, too, but... Man, this color scheme is behind. Like, why is everyone, like, just now jumping on this color scheme? This looks just like the Modern Renaissance. This looks just like Blood Sugar. I... As much as I want to be happy that Too Faced is finally doing something, like, like in a good direction, I, I can't, I can't waste my money on this. I just can't. There's no way I could, like, defend purchasing this. Okay, so coming up on these new Kylie singles. Honestly, I don't get it. I don't think this is where the brand should be heading towards just because like their palettes do okay they've got some good palettes they've got some more palettes but to go I, don't, I just don't think singles were a good way to go I really think she needs to come out with a foundation I think that would do well since the Kylie concealer is so great and I personally like it so much I think she needs to go more towards the base products because I know like eyeshadows like oh like they're more impulse buys than anything, and of course people are going to like the eyeshadows. But I think if she really wants to establish the brand and build it more, she needs to focus more on the base products. And since her concealer was so good, I think the next step should have been a foundation. But of course these could have been in the works for a while. I just think, like, what what's to make me want to buy a Kylie single shadow as opposed to a ColourPop one, as opposed to a MAC one? Like, the palettes were palettes. They were a bit unique. They had her packaging and everything. But take all that away, what are you actually getting? So I've been waiting for this reveal for a while. This is the new Natasha Denona Safari palette. They've really been building this up. They've been revealing, like, a row at a time and building it up and getting people excited. And this is it. It looks way too similar to Subculture for me to justify purchasing an expensive ass palette for that much money. No. No, especially because it's all mattes. And Natasha Denona, their matte, the matte formula is not spectacular. Like, it's a good formula, but not enough for me to buy an all matte palette. It's just not. So I'm kind of glad that I'm disappointed by this one because it definitely saved me some money and it got me looking back at my subculture palette, thinking of different ways I could use it, like just kind of shopping my stash more since this does look so similar just in color story to it. Just, I really don't need it. I've got the shades. Once again, it's time for a silence lightning round. No. <sighs> okay, so I didn't really want to touch too much on more holiday releases until we got closer to the holidays, but this is just such a random collab 
to me. This is Sephora collabing with Museum of Ice Cream. Is this an actual brand? Like, what is this? It's a movement of imagination and connection museum. It's an actual museum. And they have a lot of stuff at Target, I guess. Yeah, they, they sell actual ice cream at Target. What is this collab? Like, they've got a palette with Sephora for the holidays. And, it, I mean, it's a pastel palette. It doesn't look anything spectacular. It's got, like, ice cream packaging. And then they've got a few sets, like a bracelet set. It looks like kids makeup. But not at, like, Sephora prices, where, like, the palette is $42. And the brush set it's coming out with is $64. Like, what is... What is... I just don't get it. I have something to say about about this palette in particular. I know the majority of KKW is boring as hell and nothing's inspired me to buy it. But why the hell are you calling this a cherry blossom palette? For reference, I'm going to put a picture of a cherry blossom right here. Okay? And even, you know, for the benefit of the doubt, let's do a cherry blossom tree. Okay, here you go. Take that in. Now look at this palette. Oh my god, she threw one light pink in there and it's, oh, it's a cherry blossom palette. Like, what? Mm. I actually did a cherry blossom inspired like makeup look with a bunch, not a bunch, with a couple of pink shadows a few months ago. I'll throw that up in the cards if you want to see an actual like cherry blossom look. But this isn't it. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually getting like heated looking at this. Like why do you think this is okay to call this a cherry blossom palette? God. <sighs> Whatever. Just... Okay, and we're just gonna leave it at that for this time. I don't think there's a single thing that I'm excited about. I think if anything, I got a little bit more upset at a palette than I should have, but <sighs> yeah. So let me know what you think down below. I'm gonna go do some deep breathing and chill for a bit before I go to work, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.